Hello folks and welcome back to the channel, Farm Rainbow Extreme here, here we are on Deadwood. This is by Poor Boy Modding and Bruce Gaming, a fellow content creator. It is 556.37 megabytes to download. And yeah, this is a cracking map. Of course, if you know Poor Boy Modding, all these maps are awesome. But this one, yeah, is absolutely nice, so I recommend it. But before I go into that, let's go through the description, shall we? And it goes as following. Welcome to Deadwood, South Dakota. Deadwood is a fictional place that offers things you may find around the real town in Deadwood. The map offers a lot to do from farming, logging, stones, productions. There's no start farm to start with, equipment, and a place to park it. Main cell points. Middle cell point is a cell point for all points. Thanks to Schultz Modding. New and rework productions. There are 100 collectibles, custom sounds, custom animal pens, cows not sellable. Most all productions and sell points can be deleted. Sun the town has been set up for yard and garden work. The sport fields are for role play, plow your neighbor's fields. And this is something interesting fields do not need to be rolled. Ain't no one got time for that. <laughs> May include a clip there, but and it says and much more. And lastly, it goes for all the fields 18 fields, got 6 hectare fields, 7.3 hectare fields, 2.5 two hectares, 1.5 hectares, 4.9 hectares, 8.6, 12.3, and more on that. But yeah, we'll go through all the fields and that in a sec. But yeah, so that is description. And now let's go through slot counts and your starting equipment. So on new farm remote, slot count is 1,482. On farm manager and start from scratch, that goes down to 1,427. That's could start in productions of defeat production, nor the garbage production. But if you remove all of the equipment, slot count goes down to 1,199. But yeah, so new farm mode, what do you start off with? You start off with a fair bit. On the small tractors, you got the Case Maxim CVX 145, the Case Farm Hall 1066, the large tractors, you got the Case Siger Wheels 620, the Case Magnum 400 Power Drive. For your trucks, you got the Pinnacle MP8 505 Tune, that is a Deadwood mod. We'll go for those in a sec. For your hard surge, you got the Case Axle Flow 9250. With a 45 foot draper header and a 4418N 10 meter corn header that doesn't have a trader. Under cars, you got the Mahindra Retriever. Traders, you got the Wilson Pacer and the Rudolph TDK 301. Auger wagons, you got the Demco 2200 Dual Auger Green Cart. Disc arrows, you got the K Speed Titter 475. Under planters, you got the Kinsey 4905 Blue Drive. Sorry, tankers, you got the FarmTech SuperSys 800. Mowers, you got the Coon GMD 4411. For your baiters, you got two. First of all, you got the Case LB 436 HD and the Coon VB 3190. And to round it off, front loaders, you got the Quickie Q6M and a front loader bucket and a round bell fork and with that on new farm mode you also start off with plot 34 that's got your air for your parking with your animal pens on top of that you got this field over here grass field i think it is and you got a cornfield ready f on field eight actually is that peas because we do have custom crops Or is it prairie tall, so basically grass? So yeah, that's basically grass, but it's prairie tall. A new custom crop type, and yeah, we'll go for that in a sec. But first of all, I want to go with some of the stuff that mods. Ignore the clusters, I'm explaining that in a sec to test the buying facility point. On this map, there are modded stuff, and I mean, there is a plethora of high capacity, better function equipment. Includes some modded stuff for things like the production stuff, 
for the custom crop type of lavender and more. So, we've got the Komatsu Tree Harvester. And the good thing about this one is, if you look at the bottom, it says 400 centimeters it can cut. That is a nice thing to have because, obviously, when it comes to your tree harvesters, normally, so let's go over here. You've got a variety of cutting widths. And depending on the tree size, you'll be able to cut down and around 80 centimeters can do most trees. But if you plant spruce trees, let them fully grow over, I think it's like two and a bit years to over 32 meters tall. They come too big for the tree harvesters. And usually what you need to do then is use the platinum expansion, massive 700, yeah, 720 grand tree harvester. But now, you can just do it with a normal tree harvester. On top of that, you've got a tree forwarder, got a bucket for your wheel loaders, and that's got a modded capacity, so standard, standard capacity doubled, and unreal capacity. Side them exit, wheel setup, off-road or standard, standard capacity, double capacity, triple capacity, or unrealistic capacity. And yep, again, similar, you've got the MKS-8, so that does all your custom products. We'll go for those in a sec. Got the Raptor. Again, molded buckets and that. Got your lavender trailers and that, so you want to do lavender bells. By all means, you can. Also, you got modified versions of the cotton harvesters. 10,000 capacity, respectively. Working speed off for these is 15 miles an hour. Road speeds of 26. Actually, no, sorry, it's the opposite way. Road speeds of 15 and work speed of 26. On top of that, you got your custom stuff for your greenies and that. And uh, yeah, a lot of these are for the new crop types and that. And just better working speed as well. Got snowplow, Wilson trailer. And yeah. That's that. Now you got some of your modded lorry. So you got a lorry tree forder. On top of that, you got your Mac super liners and that. Various off configurations, loaders, tankers, or just a normal heavy. And yeah, it is just all sorts of stuff. You can have the X2 attacher if you wish. Wheel setups and that. Designs lights, basic colour palettes and some unique options including primer. On top of that you got your pulp trailer, so a small logging trailer, flatbeds, pinnacle heavies and that, and yeah all sorts of stuff. Custom drop deck trailer, that could do the log bunks. And lastly you got a modified John Deere 9R series with the optional K9 mounts, and that is by Carl Farm. So, 670 horsepower, basic horsepower net. But for under front weights, it is the blade mount here. I can see the blade mounts is there, those in black. So, yep, yeah, not too bad. And turns with under build mode, so under point, and this is the Pony Run Log Export. And that will do straw, wood chips, and logs. And that is a cell point, not a shed. And under silos, you got a modified bell and pallet storage. And that will accept the lavender bells. Nothing under side extensions and that. Under containers, you got your buying station, which I'm going to test in a bit after we've looked at the. Not main farm, but look around at our starting equipment in person. In terms of productions, because this is poor boy modding, you've got all custom productions. You've got a feed, feed production that can do all of your animal feeds. Charcoal and pellets. Crude oil production, cement and asphalt. Paper and cardboard. Gold production. Smelter. Plywood production. Recycling center. Carpentry. Firewood. Oil mill root crop processing, grain dryer, a BGA 500 kilowatts, cereal factory, dairy, spinnery, bakery, grain mill, and that is it. 
nothing else under your other options. There are the modified cell points, so again, these are going to be all your cell points for all your products. So anything you're producing can be sold somewhere, depending on what cell points. And whenever in doubt, you can always look at uh, the prices, but the sell all, this is the one by Schultz Modding, or with contribution by Schultz Modding, that can sell everything. So if, if you don't want to deal with individual sell points, whack one of these down and you'll be good. Under animals, you do have a modified pig and sheep pens. So basically, compared to 270 for the pigs, and for the sheep, it goes from 65 to 500. And for chickens, seems to be exactly the same in a way. But regardless, similar with the bees, so go to bees at the end, your beehive 34 Langstroth hives. Same as that. But I think that is a increase in range, I think it is. In terms of the affection of uh what's it? Fertilizer and that yieldage. There's nothing under decorations. Under landscaping, nothing. Apart from under plant, so normally you have your meadow grass here, so if I go here, that's your typical meadow grass you'll see. However, we do have the prairie grass, so the new crop type in the way. Bingo, like so. Apart from that, that is it. So now, on to the map tour itself. So, sort of if you start with here at the shop, this is going to be your spawn point and reset points for your vehicles and equipment. So you got your combine header, got a bather, and go over here, got your case and that, with the till, your pace setters and that, and your Kinsey planter. Then going across from the shop, you do have a field with your case Steiger and your corn header ready to go as you load in. Go across to the main farm. So yeah, got your equipment as well over here, front loaders and that for your small case. Bell and pant storage, sorry tanker, pigsty. This is going to be your feed mix or your food feed production. Uh, if we have a look at that, first of all. So yeah, takes pretty much everything, including corn straw, soybean straw. And from that, you can make silage, compost, TMR, pig food and hay, along with sweet feed. Sweet feed requires straw, so that is corn straw. Honey and what oh, was it? Oats, right? Yeah, oats. And I'm assuming, yeah, corn straw for your soybean straw. We have a look. That is the same type as just your normal straw. So, and actually, it says, yeah, no straw normally. So you've got to have corn straw or soybean straw. Interestingly, so. A thing to note, but yeah, you can make compost from your as a byproduct for your hay production, and everything does have a byproduct of compost. And yeah, these can be sold all over the place. So we'll go down here, and this is also you can see all your crop types and that and production stuff. So corn straw compost could be at the grocery mart or the windmill cell. Got your soybean straw. Then for yeah, all the productions, for example, you can make asphalt, coal, dirt, gravel, sand, iron ore, play dirt or pay dirt, crude oil, propane, kerosene, waste oil, cement, stone powder, limestone, bark, corn oil, pipe, sawdust, gold, gold bars, pioneer pellets, trash cans, garbage containers, plywood, junk car, Nails, firewood, dry lumber, junk dozer, junk loader, junk tank, junk train, slag. That is, yeah, 
sag and that alfalfa, clover, dry beans, dry corn, mustard, peas, lentils, lavender, lavender oil, drum oil, and sweet feed. So a plethora. That is the farmyard. And yeah, first of all, I would test under silos. Oh no, sorry. Or is it two? Under container, sorry. The buying station. So, what I'm going to do is get that set up a sec, so bear with me. So, right, got the trailer here. And, yeah, see what you can buy. So, lime, dirt, mineral feed, cement, gravel, stone powder, sands. And a fair bit of stuff. Soil fertilizer and that. So, you can't buy crops and that, but you can buy any other materials including animal feed if you wish seeds and that so yeah seed fertilizer and that so good information to know and for your liquids you can purchase kerosene propane crude oil and that is it so yeah just a quick test on that and now let's look at the pda so yeah, I'm trying to break stuff down here, so everything's going to be time slapped and that, but anyway, so the PDA, so we looked at the main farm stuff and that. All the areas are purchasable, so you've got your forestry up the north, you got your quarry over here in the corner. And yep, yeah, every single bit of land is purchasable, so thank you poor boy modding and Bruce. That is what I like to see on the map. No required mods, and every single bit of land purchasable. And prices are on a bit of the steep side, I'll admit. Like the larger fields, you're looking at over half a mil. Core of mil for your medium sized fields. You have forestries areas and that into the tens of thousands. And yeah, if you purchase all of the map, it would look like this. So, with everything purchased and that, a lot of stuff opens up. You don't own these stuff, but it just highlights them on the maps. You've got your smelters and that. And like in the far corner, you've got a little gold production area and that. You do have a train that, that you can use. And yeah, so yeah, just little things just opens itself up. Recycling centers and that. That's going to be your windmill cell point. But also, by purchasing all the map, you do also have access to now the BGA, so that could be used for grass, so grass can just go in, so forget about silage, just do grass and that. Of course, you get more if you use the silage, but potatoes could be going there, and that will give you diesel and death diesel ex exhaust fluid. So I think you've already seen a lot in FS2. Then yeah, you've got your silage, sorry, manure, sugar beet cut, canola, sunflower, corn, and for your wood chips, you can use that to get uh, fuel in that, with a bit of kerosene on the sides. Same with coal, crude oil, and used oil. So, if you've got your waste of oil from your other productions, which we'll look at in a bit, transfer them over, and yep, yeah, job is a good one. And the BGA is located just here next to the windmill cell. So yeah, I think what I'll do is as we go around, I will go through everything. I'll timestamp every production, I think, or it depends on how I'm gonna do it in editing. But yeah, so let's go and grab a pickup and start touring the map. So yeah, with the pickup now, what we're gonna do is head out of the shop. I'm gonna head up north, head up to the quarry. So you got your crushers and that, and the stone tower so you can get, as I said, a limited amount of stone. And then, yeah, we'll come down, go across, toward north of the map, and then we'll start coming down and start touring the rest of the area. So, right, we're just leaving the shop. i leave the map out on the bottom left. Decent amount of traffic in that, I like the immersion of that. But yeah, now let's head up here and to be honest, first impressions is wow. I love to work in, yeah, I'm familiar with Poor Boy Modding's other work in that. Peru is a bit bumpy in that. 
So I think to be careful with, especially if you're doing logging and that. That's when you want it to come belting down and then flipping or just having a rough ride in that because that is easy done. Especially with logs and that. But yeah, I'm just going to zoom around. And yeah, we'll be at our first production area of the crusher. So I'm just going to need to take a right here. Oop. Bit of a janky steering there, my bad. So yeah, but here we are, we're at the crusher. So we have a look, there is a <coughs> fill point over there. So yeah, let's go and purchase this. Purchase the crusher for half a mil. And for the crusher, all you need to do is put stones and diesel and water in. And with those stones, you can crush that, get coal, gravel, sand, iron ore, pay dirt, and stone powder. All of that, just from stone. And that is, what, 100 stones, 600 cycles per month, so... 600, 6,000... 60,000 stones used a month. And on top of that, 15,000 years of diesel, and whatever... 120,000 years of water. Get a fair bit of coal in that. So, yeah, there's an end of stone supply, and you can just keep on topping this up like no one's business. But yeah, so, from there, let's head over to the quarry in that. So, I'm familiar with Onyx Evergreen Valley, stone mines there. And yeah, obviously, where I'm on PlayStation 4 Pro, things are only just starting to render in at the far end of the mine. But yeah, so, got stones actually here on the floor, so you can pick them up. And yes, quick reminder, you can purchase halves of the mine here, so, 160 and 150 grand, so, overall, not too bad. And I think the end of stone supply is on the left side there. But yeah, you can purchase this. Pick up the stones from the ground with a bucket. Or use something like the Lizard Forest pickup and that. Pick up you use the Colossus in that. <laughs> Colossus Trader. That's got 20,000 years, but that goes up to what? 5 mil, 50 mil capacity? Something on the realms of like that, so... But yeah, this mine is vast, so again, if you want to do something in the winter and that, got a bit of spare cash and that, or get a bank loan. And speaking of which, one thing I thought to go over at start with, on, what was it, farm manager, no, I'm not sure farm manager, but from start from scratch, can't remember if it's game mode itself, but you start off with on 200 grand in debt. Not sure if that's a map thing or a, just a normal game thing. But yeah, so this is going to be your end of stone supply. And once again, got your stones here. And yeah, just need to be careful because you can get stuck like so. Be a decent tr tractor on that. Okay, it looks like we're beached later, so yeah, I'm just going to do a quick drone overview of the mine. I can see there are vast levels, and yeah, these sort of way acts as flooring, but by all means, you can pick stones up, and yeah, that is a deep mine there, so pretty sure you're going to be fine for stones for a fair while. But anyways, back into the pickup, so now we're just, yeah, basically doing a bit of a cheeky reset. And the head across, and yeah, we'll head over the bridge, and then we'll go up more from the map. But yeah, fast about the forestry of Abel. And just look at like, some of these trees and that, so I guess like, these are going to be like spruces and that. So yeah, these are like the fully grown spruce trees I was on about. 
A normal tree harvester can't cut those down, but the modern one here can. Got spruce in that. Spruce, spruce. But yeah, so, in fairness, spruce trees are the best trees to have. Easiest trees to work with. That gives you the most amount of logs or log literage or wood chip leaders and that. Obviously, if you're wood chipping trees, then really go with like American Elms and that because you can get more of that. But, anyways, minor diversion there again. But, yeah, so head over this and. Now this is a bit of a feature. Can we make it across? Okay, few. Can make it across. First of all, I thought I was a bridge in that. But yeah, because of the height in that. A little cross up here in that. And okay, we got floating deers. Okay, minor fix there. That needs to be done, but again. Okay, they're starting to despawn now, but but yeah, look at that. I got like your lavender and that. That is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'll from, yeah, I've already gone over now. Like your lentils and that. Lentils is here. Get mustard. Guessing that's it there. And yeah, just a whole bunch of other stuff, and that is an awesome view. Maybe the thumbnail there, but anyways, back into the car and yeah, we'll head up north and yeah, I'll do the jump cut and meet folks up there. So right, we're at the tippy top north of the map, so I'm going to head over left first of all, and this is going to be your crude oil production. So yeah, got a bit of an old fashioned well over here. Love the sounds and that. So yeah, from here you can get crude oil via just water if you wish. Or sand and pipe. So again, water's cheap and free. You literally just came up from a river, so you can fill that up and be on your merry way. So yeah, got your oil bore drill over here. It looks like, yeah, just have a look see if I can find any, like, groove marks and that. I know, it's just a, yeah, pipe and that extracts it, so... Now, first of all, I thought it was, like, like a drill and that, but no... But, yeah, very decent that. Good way to make money in that. And then next, we'll head across to the firewood production. And I'm assuming there's a path to the... Thing on center war, which is cabin view cell, so that's gonna be a bit interesting to see. And once again, and these roads are very bumpy, which again makes sense that you wouldn't have always a perfectly smooth like F1 style. Ooh. Oh, I love how the custom like, bird, bird chip in that. And yeah, basic uh, collectibles from Elm Creek. But yeah, like, just all of a sudden you heard of birds in more detail than that. So yeah, you got your log bridge over here. And don't worry, because your wheels won't dip in. That is nice to see, so... So yeah, this is going to be your firewood production, five grand. And from here... Wood gets chopped into firewood. Simple enough. But now, how in the heck do you get up here to the cabin cell area? So, looks like you need to like, forge a path in that, so... <laughs> that is proper off-road in that. Uh, since I can't really be bothered on that, but again, something like that could be like a story, like role-playing. So yeah, cabin view, cell station, out on the top of the map, and the boundary of the map, exterior, actually very nice, actually, decent in that, no weird clippings in that, can't phase through the map, but yeah, that's like 
even though it's like a selfie, should you use that as like a, for example, role playing, rescue someone from the cabin woods and that, Hikers gets lost in that, trapped up here in the midst of winter. Because, yeah, like it's like obviously no path in that. You can forge a path. Okay, phase for that. No reflectables. Oh, yeah. Ooh, again. Bit of a weird clippings here and there, but. Anything for these collectibles. But yeah, not too bad. And jump down. Oh, No splashing. Can you go through this cave? Oh, uh, yeah and no. Actually, I actually like that quite a bit. Oh, maze. Back in the pickup. So yeah, that is your productions at the north. Uh, the one on the left, below crude oil with the cat insect. But yeah, we'll go down here. Go... Yeah, that's your cow pasture and that. So we'll go past the main farm. Stop at the farmer's market sell point. And head up to the sawmill. So here we are, back again. And yeah, so you do need the Platinum Expansion DLC for the carpentry business. So yeah, get your floor towels and that. And yeah, and everything else. That is absolute amazing. That is so bowls and that, shingles and that. And then you've got your normal stuff as well. It just comes from, and that can be used as dry lumber or planks. That is absolutely a beautiful to see. And yeah, obviously you record some metal with that, but again, things like that you can buy, I am pretty sure. So, platinum expansion, can you actually buy these? The metal rolls and that? Actually, I've never looked before. Shipping containers and that, so no. You will need to produce the metal. And whether or not there is going to be a production, we'll have a look and see at the moment. No. But yeah, if not, then just get the metal production facility. But anyway, so after that minor diversion. So yeah, now we're going to head. Yeah, I think what we'll do is head down and then we'll go back up and then we'll finish going past where we started off and down south, I think. It's going to be a bit of a weird loop in that, but again, I'll try to get the pace of this map tour done properly, show you everything I can do it all in one video, but I just can't at the moment. But yeah, anyways, we're at the garbage production, so anything you want to chuck off waste, so all your platinum stuff, even like the premium spaction stuff that can go in here. So that is good to see. So yeah, it does make good use of all of the DLCs and that. And, or at least all the DLCs that are worth purchasing, unlike the farm production pack. That can go fuck off at the moment. Oh yeah, you can get metal at the smelter, sorry. My bad on that part. So yeah, well I may edit on that bit there, but... So yeah, anything you want should be chucked in. We'll get crushed is about 10% to what it originally was. And yeah, we get trash, cans and garbage containers. Actually, I think what I may do is actually, I may do a separate video on it, because stuff like that... Yeah, I haven't really seen anyone done those before on YouTube and that, so... Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll spend tonight working on that. Yeah, so once this map tour is done and uploaded... Yeah, go ahead and do that for you folks, because, yeah, oh, what's we do in this video now, but again, map tour now, serves its own video to have proper testing, but anyways, we're at the cement and asphalt factory, and yeah, that requires sand, lime, stone powder, diesel, and gravel, so you can get asphalt just from sand and gravel and a bit of diesel, and cement requires... But yeah, not too bad. So your input is over here on the left. 
Well, little diesel tank there. And yeah, the output is here. A little bit of a glitch in that, I'll admit. So again, again, minor fixes so far in that. Nothing breaking, just three these floating deers at the top. And yeah, some minor collisions in that with the spawn trigger in that. But yeah, besides from that, this is a awesome cracking map. And again, it's quite probably modding now. I've said it many times, I'll still say it again. It's one of those maps where you can do anything. I know the map I done yesterday, the map to Riverlands, so that's a map for all. But this is a truly map for all in that. So we're at the plywood production. 175 grand. So yeah, admittedly some of these productions are on the bit pricey site. But yeah, it is absolutely worth it. So output is over here and your input is at the back not too bad not too bad so the next we head out so this is where you're going to have your beehives and i'm assuming yeah we've got advanced time enough so i should get off the tracks now so i'm assuming that's going to be your rent train a grand and to see what the train looks like in that but anyway, so we're at your goal production. And all that requires water, pay dirt, and coal. Not too bad at all. And yeah, just again looking back on that, it says also oh, this should shove everything in there and get everything in drum barrels there. But yeah, anyways, minor side track there. So debris crushers over here. Typical debris crusher. Oh yeah, it does like utilize the oh, what was it? Great production facility. But again, it's been customized that so don't broken it was it, don't fix it if it ain't broken that where everything goes. Train's still a bit away, so yeah, we'll look at the train that at the end of the map tour and that. But anyway, so now we're heading down south. Now, gone from the forestry to the vast farmland. So, again, you've got a huge long fields, and if you're like me, you look at these four fields here, and you're thinking, one big mega field, get the plow on that, or check out my recent Raven Re Re Report series now. That's the episode on there where I've done the best way to create mega fields using the best way trailer and the massive plow, shameless plug, or mitts. Anyway, so we're at the paper and horrible factory now. But yeah, like regularly. But yeah, so we'll open this. 145 grand. So that requires wood chips, and that gets your paper roll and your carton roll. So again, platinum expansion recommended to download on this map. So yeah, head out of here. Well, and there's a train backing up on the side of the road. Going to Dromo sec. Wow, how long is that train? Fucking hell, that is... That's long, that is. <laughs> I'll say apologise for my language, but no, I'm not one of those who tend to apologise, but... Frick me, how long is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 carriages. Wow. Ooh. So, again, with all the production you've got on this map, it makes sense, Nat. And yeah, if you want stuff to store your products, Nat, there's plenty of bell and pad storages, Nat. But yeah, anyways, here we are. This is going to be your gas station. And yeah, it looks like there is a refill. Okay, refill here and that. And a tip area. I'm guessing. Is that diesel or. 
I guess I need to get cell points now because bear with me a sec, have a look. Ah uh, nope, so yeah, all you got your buy fuel points. The one we just looked at with the separate cell area is gonna be your gas station cell. And I'm assuming just a quick check on the crude oil. So nope, doesn't go there and that. But yeah, so I'm assuming yeah, that's just gonna be your no cell point here. I wasn't looking at that, but here, yeah, this is going to be your cell point. Cell point for your fuel. But yeah, it's just the pad spawner area there that caught me off guard. And then if we head across, we've got a silo. So I do apologize to someone in DJ server when they asked about the silo. Actually, there is a silo down here, Nat. And this is going to be your grain dryer. So, actually, no, my screw that. Man, that just that blended in so well. I thought I was just a normal silo, but no, this is going to be your grain meal. So, correction on that part. But yeah, so corn and propane and soybean goes in. I can get dry corn or dry beans. A little bit of propane, not too bad. And actually, I'm guessing also you could buy your propane from down here. So if we have a look, go to propane. And that, that's just the buying station. But yeah, propane, you can buy propane and just sell it for a premium. Yeah, cabin view, that's going to be your premium cell point, but unlike, again, with the other map, we looked at yesterday with review that, you do have to work for it. They may head up now, and just start trying to do the SI versions and that. But, uh, yeah, so that's your other production here. And this is going to be your recycling center, so trash cans and that we made just put those in here and from that you can get junk cars I can get junk everything but yeah, if you want you can put your slag in here or your corn actually is it worth it that a thousand corn to get some junk cars and that Again, I'm not going to do a separate video on this, but just out of curiosity, quickly. Junk cars, four, four and a half, seven, yeah. Yeah, doing the corn, I think if you do all of this, it's going to be worth it. So, harvest that corn on field eight if you come here along your farming boat. And put your corn in here, so. That's what I'll do for a small night. Anyway, so heading back up across this beautiful river. So this is going to be your BGA and your windmill cell station. Windmill cell station is here, and I'll confirm that on the PDA. Recycling center, yeah, windmill cell wall. So yeah, if you just want to tell everything as is, forget about cell points and that, or divert and stuff. Take it over there, and yeah, Bob's your uncle, we are good at Next, we've got your oil production, so I'm guessing that's, that's going to be, yeah, all the oil, so soybeans, no, not soybeans, sorry, sunflower, canoe, and olive oil. Also, you can get corn oil and lavender oil. And yeah, I forgot about what the price was, but I'm sure someone would pause that. But yeah, as well, like with a lot of these productions, you do get byproducts of either compost, waste oil. Again, just looking down here. But yeah, for the most part, you do get waste products. A little good thing to know. Anyways, from there, we'll head up here and go to the biogas plant. So, obviously, to purchase the BGA. All you need to do is to just purchase the land, so that land is 69 grand. Also gives you areas of the windmill cell. So yeah, you have a bit of fair land in that, so again, 
you can purchase this, I get a bit of farmland if you wish. Okay, so I'm on the ground, not too bad. Also got a huge bump site over there. Okay, I always got inputs and outputs now. I don't need to go over that too much. And just cross the road, you got your storage facility. So we have a head back up here. Across the prairie grass. And actually, with the prairie grass, I know you can just place it down, but when it comes to drilling, yeah, you can do the premium grass if you want to. And yeah, lavender and all that, all the new custom crops can be used for that. So yeah, for all the new custom crops, you can just use a cedar and that, that's a good thing to know. Should have mentioned that earlier on, but that's my bad. And over here is going to be your pizzeria. And then you have a head up here. I can't remember what we've done this bit here, I don't think we have, so let's pull over here. There we go. Now I'm assuming this is going to be your bail cell point and your, like, your animal deer ship. So yeah, animal deer ship triggers here. So yeah, bell, yeah, animal deer cell station that. Not too bad. But yeah, so we we'll head back up with the map tour by going through everything down the bottom right corner of the map. And then, yeah, do a little final summary, conclusion, and rating. So, yeah, just heading down now. So, just gone past the bowling alley. Over to the left, you've got your restaurant cell, fire station. And yeah, these are going to be small fields as mentioned in the mod description about role playing. So, yeah, I think there's crops in there at the moment, but yeah, just put grass in there and that. And just do a bit of role play on, like, say, a lawnmower services and that. Or again, if you're a multiplayer with your friends and that. But yeah, so down here, this is going to be a bit of a production hub. This is so. Got your dairy production, and I'm just gonna do a quick check on the recipes and that. Pretty, yeah, that's all base game stuff, so I won't go over these too much. So you got your dairy, spinnery, bakery, green mill, cereal factory, root crop processing, that's pretty much expansion. Grow tomorrow, that's going to be your cell point, biomass, and we will look at the charcoal and pellet production plant. And then, yeah, to the far bottom right, there is a garbage, yeah, I think it's garbage processing, and a rent a train cell point, but, yeah, overall, a cracking map so far. Two minor bugs and that, but apart from that, not too shabby, so, yeah. But head over here. And let's look at the charcoal production set. So, I'm assuming no charcoal, sorry. Charcoal and pioneer paddits. How do you get coal, sec? I think I've gone past that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think you got to buy the coal in that because, yeah. Yeah, again, minor diversion, I hope you know that. But, yeah, I've had the look at that. And coal. Yeah, you got to buy it at the buying station. There's no production for that. There's no like, coal mine or anything, so fair enough. But yeah, charcoal and pellet factory. Apologies there again for the final diversion. And then yeah, start wrapping things up here, so... Got your biomass heating plant. And then lastly, so you've got your rent and train station over here. And got your recycling plant. Like how that road's just been blocked off there entirely. Just, yep, nope. Ye shall not no pass. But yep, so go into here. So this is going to be your garbage production, actually. 
Wait a minute, is there two garbage productions? Because we looked at one earlier on, didn't we? Spent asphalt now, plywood, gold production. Thought we. Oh no, no, that's the one that comes with the map that does be coming on new farm mode, sorry. But yeah, so yeah, another garbage production facility. To no. But yeah, so minor confusion there. We got surprised with again with another mod has dropped and finally the new truck that came out today, the Scania Lizard and that whatever. It's now apparently able to be downloaded, so I'll do a video on that now. But anyway, so sum up the map here. Overall, absolutely cracking map. Like again, this is one of the maps I recommend. If you if you sign on the FS, probably not so much, but just in general, and that for your normal player, that definitely I recommend this map, that. Again, as you can see, you got vast amount of farmlands to the south and vast amount of forestry up the north. So, turn that off and just, yeah, overall amazing map. And that, once again, probably modding, you have done a great work. And along with Bruce as well, Bruce is gaming, awesome channel on that as well. But, yeah, if I had to rate the map out of five, to be honest, I'll say. 5 out of 5, is, yeah, is it the perfect map for some? Yes, again, 5 out of 5 does not mean the best map in Farm Sim, it's just the best map in general. It has that quality of a best map in that. And yeah, really, I, I can't fault the map. Really, apart from the deer is on the waterfall, and one of the productions down there having that little glitchy spawn point in that. Yeah, I really cannot fault it. And also, I wanted to end the map tour here. Is show you the soil type. So let me go and purchase this and show you the soil types. Staying on with precision farming, it does look pretty bad. Ideally, you want to loam. Ideally, sandy loam second. But you also got big clumps of silty clay. And lonely sands, but overall it's not too bad. Like field 12 is like the perfect field. And if I go into here, so yeah, I'll show you all the potential yields. So that's good. That's decent. For the most part, it's actually pretty good, but where you get the more thicker patches. And that's my like, example here, like all silty clay. That's when you get that yield droppage in 10%. But yeah, apart from that, yeah, awesome map. Highly recommend it. But anyway, so that's going to be the map tour on Deadwood by Poor Boy Modding and Bruce's Gaming. As always, hope you find this map tour helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this is me from our Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.